Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing very well and if you're new here, hello and welcome. So in today's video, I hope this is interesting, but I am going to be showing you my empties. So I have never done a video like this before just because I never use up my makeup. Um, at the beginning of this year, I had started my Project Pan um, because I feel like I need to start using certain products a bit more because I've had them for longer. Um, but I've still been buying my own makeup because I don't get PR, obviously, and I don't get anything sent to me. So I'm still purchasing like a lot of makeup, but I, I felt like I was going to concentrate on those products because I've had them for quite a while and most of them I have used up which I'm just really happy and surprised about. Some of these products still have like a teeny weeny bit left in them but I need to just get rid of them because they're just there for no reason. So I'm going to show you guys first things that I'm like most proud of using up is my face milks by Colourpop. So I have been raving on about these so much. Um, just because they are a really great moisturiser for the face and I got this part of a set so I believe there was three or four I think there was I can't remember but this was part of like a Christmas set last year I believe um, and the, actually the coconut one was part of my project pan and I used this up first but the other two which is like the papaya and watermelon one I have really just gone to town on them and have finished them so I'm really happy that I have used them. I still have my oat milk one which is a larger size but face milks are so good. I don't know if you've ever tried them before. If you're not a big fan of like moisturising but you want a step before your primer I really recommend face milks. I know if you live in the UK it's a bit difficult to get Colourpop but you do get um, like no customs and the thing is these are about eight or nine dollars which will make up like seven eight pounds or whatever but I really think these are a really great step I'm looking forward to throwing these away because they've been kind of in my basket section I have like a little basket that I bring into my room when I put on my makeup and they've just been sitting there and I get to throw them away <laughs> so the next thing I have is a primer and it is actually part of my project pan and it's my ordinary primer yes it's very very flat and at the bottom like I said there's a little bit left but I really I'm gonna stop using this now because I have had it for so long but you know what it is a fantastic primer I got this from Beauty Bay uh, for about four pounds if that's at 395 it's a silicone primer so it is a little bit thick but when you put it on the skin it makes your skin feel so smooth I am wearing it today not that you can see it because it's a primer but I really do like this. This is like the second one that I've had by um, The Ordinary and they're a brand that I have not tried a lot of skincare products because I have very sensitive skin um, and I have rosacea so I need to be very careful what I put on. But when I use this, it is very moisturising. It's not like my number one go-to primer but this is a very nice hydrating primer. So if you're ever intrigued by trying it, I would definitely give it a go. And it's very affordable, so that is also a going in the bin. Um, I have a foundation, which is actually part of my project pan as well. Told you I was kind of getting through them. And it's my e.l.f. one. You can obviously see like around the rim that there's a little bit left, but honestly, there is like barely anything left. Um, I did really like this foundation. I had very, I had good times, bad times, if we're vibing on my like Led Zeppelin obsession. Um, there were times when I loved using this and there were times when I didn't. <laughs> but it is in the shade Snow and it was very, very pale on me, even though it really does not look it in like in this glass but I've had this foundation for so long and it was finally time that I used it as my project pan because it was I just was not using it as, as I much as I should have done um, and I'm glad that I have used it up I won't be repurchasing it because I, I just need to try some other foundations but I already have like a ton of foundations I need to do like a foundation like show to you guys because you know I like to use a lot of variety um, again this is like fair with pink undertones I felt like it was just one step up from like white <laughs> on me to be honest and obviously I'm a very pale gal um, but this just I don't know elf foundations are not my favorite foundation it's the same with the um, CC cream 
sometimes it works really well for me sometimes it doesn't uh, majority of the time it doesn't so I'm actually quite glad that this is finished now so I can get rid of it the next products I have are face powders and this is one of my favorite powders of all time and it is the revolution matte base powder um, like I said there's a bit left but I am done with this honestly um, I try my best to like dig at it but because I've had it so long I felt like it's gone a little bit drying um, but honestly this is one of my favorite powders this is again like the second time I've purchased this um, and I might check on Beauty Bay how much it is on there because they might have it for like two pounds or two pounds something and I'm very tempted to buy it again it just works really nice on my skin like I am using it today so on the foundation that I used which was like a L'Oreal foundation this rarely like separates on my skin and it's because of my powder I get very oily very quickly this is makeup has been on for about half an hour um this is from my get ready with me which is probably before this video um but it was it just makes my skin feel so nice and I'm but I am glad it's finished because I don't need any more powders so goodbye to this one and the next one is like an accidental finish which is my essence wanna be my honey powder i hit major pound on this about a week or two ago and i know there is product left but i am gonna say goodbye to it because like the other one i've had it for so long and i have so many other powders that i'm gonna use this is a great powder you can't buy this anymore um because I think when it comes to Essence, they must have limited edition products or something like that where they release them and they just don't make them again, like you can't get them again. Um, but yeah, this was a really nice powder. It really helped mattify my skin, which is what I need in a powder because again, I get very oily. Um, but this, this is called You're the Bee's Knees. But again, I don't think you can get this anymore. Um, it's been good it's been a very good powder so goodbye um the next thing i have is a concealer i've had this for way too damn long and i'm glad i'm getting rid of it because it is actually finished and it's a Too faced born this way concealer i got this in a tk max <laughs> about two years ago and i know that's disgusting um but i still have it but it is a really good concealer i don't really use Too faced that much anymore i use like one or two products here and there um, this is a really damn good concealer but I am glad it's finished because I've had it for so long I don't like throwing away products because um, I pay my money good money on these products and only if they're really really bad then I do get rid of them but because this is a good product but it wasn't like I didn't spend the full amount of money um, I am gonna get rid of it but it is finished <laughs> like it's obviously I've just kept it because I want to do an empties video um, and so goodbye to this one. Maybe in the future, if I see this for cheap, I will get it. This is in the shade Very Fair. And then the last two products I have, I told you there's not a lot, um, are mascaras. So I think these have just dried up more than finished. So this is first the Great Lash by Maybelline. Um, I've had this for a while. I know this is like an OG product for a lot of people. Um, I've only had it about half a year. And I think maybe because it's just empty that I'm not getting anything out of this now because I did try and use some like a, a couple of days ago and it just didn't do anything for my lashes so I generally think that it's finished but it's nice I never have much to say about mascaras because they don't do much for my lashes personally because I have very heavy top lashes but my lower lashes always tend to get some love in so that was a nice one to use but I'm not going to repurchase really it and then the last one I have is by MUA and this is the Amplify Statement Lash um, I think this is in like no it's in black brown um, I've had this for again a while um, and it's just dried up a lot so I really do not need it there is a little bit left on there but again I think I got this for free like if you buy it if you buy it boy <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying um, if you spent like maybe £12 or something, you got a mascara for free. So it was a while ago. This was a nice mascara, again, for volume lash effect. Maybe, but not on me. <laughs> um, and this is only like 3 or or £4 when you buy it by itself. Really nice. So if you're looking for a cheap mascara, I would definitely recommend picking up this. And that is it. That is my current empties. Um, 
I think I've done quite well for myself in the fact that I've been going through a lot of products. I know I still have like a million products in my bedroom to like get through but you know I love makeup I like collecting makeup and especially eyeshadow palettes like I don't think I'll ever get through an eyeshadow palette um, I'll definitely get through like a shade like hit pan on a shade but nothing more than that um, and that's it really I thought I would just show you guys because it's just a video to film and if you guys are interested what I liked and didn't like and yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. And I hope you're having a really good week and I hope to see you really soon. Bye!